Ah, Budapest. Where the rides never show up on time. Waiting for things, that's not my game. Right now we're waiting for something, you know what I mean? Wasting my life, waiting, waiting. It's not what I do, you know what I mean? Turn it upside down, what's that? Motion, motion with an M. I like to move, not wait, but move. I got, I got it like a Budapest taxi. What's that? I don't know, I, I don't know what oh, it is. Watch out, a limo coming by. Oh, what is this now? Some kind of celebrity trying to be really cool in Budapest. <laughs> Woo! Since the dawn of time, the travel show formula has remained unchanged. Until now. Teach me how to say, I, I love you. What did you just say? <laughs> Shut up, there's too much passion. You can say cheers in Hungarian. It means, I guess, Andre. How can you take a word like cheers and turn it into esetrek and they're all your And it's like, how do you say hello? Yes. Oh, it's so simple. <laughs> <laughs> can you can't do how can you make it so hard? I'll call you later. I'll call you later. Okay. Ring ring, Benz. Better are 10 minutes. And I am loving the zone. You know, few people know that the Brazil nut is actually not a nut. Just like the strawberry is actually not a fruit. But even fewer people know that Hungary has some great wines. So we made our way outside of Budapest to go to a vineyard third generation family owned. Yeah, we're gonna meet up with Thomas. He's uh -huh. gonna show us around. He's the, an absolute vineyard pimp. Great. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, man. You know those nuts things? I swear, more people really need to know this stuff. I think it's great that you're putting it in the show. You're really informing people. Great stuff, man. Be great stuff. Because people are into the nuts. Th the Brazil nut has been masquerading as a nut for too long now. You can't just call yourself a nut and not be one. Same with strawberries. Hey, want, want the fruit platter? Yeah, been ordering that at restaurants like forever. And I'm getting strawberries. Come on. Hey. Nice How's it going, you. Fab? Hello, welcome to my winery. Thank you. <laughs> what is this machine? This is a destinary machine. Okay, so there's wine in there right now. Yes, yes. What if I want to buy one of these and set it up in my apartment and start making my own? I mean, how much would one of these cost and could I do it myself? 30,000 euro. All right, so 30,000 euros, I pick up one of these, I put it in my house, and then I could just mass produce some alcohol, invite some women, have a huge party at my place, and... Not a bad idea. Yeah? <laughs> Everyone shoves their head under there and just like, oh, 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 oh. Obviously, oh, it's 70%. 7% in <laughs> your face, like, ah. High five the man. Great. Just hit on him? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right, right. The noise tells you exactly how much is left. Do you have That's that ear? Do you have that skill? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I must imagine. So what do you do for a living? I own a vineyard. Is it, I mean, do you get some good responses from women? That's it. Yeah? Yeah, That's, yeah. It. That's the same. It is. I wish I could say that. Yeah. Yeah, no big deal. But uh, when I, when I uh, bring some girls here and they, they see, okay, the, the, the view from the, from the Balkan and the panorama and the barrels and the bottles Okay, they fall in love. <laughs> hey, Johan, check it out. Travel Channel version. So, this is a pretty important process in the fermentation process of actually making the spirits, yes? Yes. Uh, it takes about two weeks, uh, the fermentation process. Uh, it's just a rustic feeling, you know? Uh, really uh, being able to go back to the roots of when they really did this with manual labour. You know, being at one of these smaller farms, uh, you really find that getting your hands dirty is really what it's all about. 
thanks again for letting me being involved in the process. What is the percentage of alcohol in this? Right now it's around the 40 because my father had, had more water. water. If, if, if we drink without blending it out with water, yeah. just pure, is it much stronger then? Yeah, it's very strong. Could we, could we try that? Can we try it without water? Yeah, could I? Really? Yeah. It's a 79. 79%? Yeah. Oh, this is hardcore. <laughs> Come on, what's wrong with you? <laughs> It's fine, I didn't really feel anything. <coughs> Can I please bring in my cameraman and have him taste? G get him over here. If you die, then we have to get a new cameraman. It just seems like a big effort. It's nice though. It's oh, don't pretend. Can I have a bit more without it being... Eyes. Like He's got glasses for protection. That's not fair. It's really nice. Oh, you son of a bitch. You think you're so cool walking in on my Good, good set. job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
It's good? I mean, yeah, let's face it, <laughs> it's one of the best. You're from Australia? Yep. You decided, no, from Australia. Right. You decided to come here on vacation. Mm -hmm. On vacay, as I, as I like to call it. No big deal. I use slang. Why Budapest? I mean, it's got this, you know, up and coming underground vibe that is only sort of starting to come to the fore internationally. You're saying it's weird, wild and exotic and you just want to be a part of that whole orgy of greatness? Yeah, pretty much. We have now in Budapest two Michelin star restaurants and there you can buy meals, like in a Michelin star restaurant, you can buy meals for 15, 20,000 uh, foreigns, which is way, which is not even 100 euros in a Michelin star restaurant. If we move on to another question, while I stir my drink casually and look great, this is not a perm, by the way, it's all natural. Oh, good, good. Seriously, though, if I told you this was a perm, would you think it was more sexy, less sexy, or as sexy? I'd just say you're trying to be indie. Indie's perm now? I just, you know, just start off a brainstorm hurricane here and say, uh, you hook up with me and my team tomorrow night and we have some drinks. Sounds pretty good to me. Getting a uh, paint, or uh, what's it called? Uh, paint, uh, drawing, done. He's been sitting with that same pose for like 15 minutes now. Because a lot of people were looking at my pose. Yeah, yeah. What did they think? I think they uh, were a little afraid. <laughs> I definitely saw some chicks checking me out. You know, they were going, that guy, he looks evil, but I'm kind of into that evil. Oh, just keep looping. My friend's being drawn. Super boring to look at. I gotta think of something to do. I understand it's a caricature. But it sucked. What did you what did you pay for this? Uh 30,000 forints. 120 euros. I mean, obviously, this is a terrible caricature, but just the idea of a caricature, it doesn't make any sense because, you know, it's not like I'm really, really excited about how good I look. It's not like I wake up in the morning going, wow, there I am again. Great. Brad Pitt does that. You know what I mean? He's one of like, what, 10 people in the world who gets up every day and goes, yes, I'm the best, you know? So everyone has something they don't like about themselves, and they willingly go to a person and go, hey, Want to take your worst features and highlight them? Tell me a super interesting fun fact about Budapest that no one knows. Take out your fun fact gun and just start firing. No, it's not a big thing like this. If you are a strong person, um, you have to be uh, believe in yourself, you will achieve your goals here. Your fun fact gun is officially out of bullets? <laughs> Fun gun. No, I'm a positive person. I like to smile. Yeah, no, but it's a positivity gun. Never mind. This whole country, the guys in general. Yeah. A lot of attractiveness? Not a lot. I've seen one or two, maybe. Then again, they were really good looking, so they kind of, yeah. So they kind of balanced, they they, balanced, they balanced out the entire country. <laughs> yeah. Two guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on here? What's really going on that we're eight crazy Norwegian guys on a bachelor trip Hello guys. to Budapest. All right. All right. And we just, All right. we just ordered a crazy trip with a limo. We had strippers, we had champagne. We're going to, we're going all over the place. We're going drinking, we're gonna have a fucking great time. We're gonna get fucked up, that's what we're gonna do.
This is Egyptian cotton. Please try to calm down. Two blonde, beautiful women in Budapest. Now I've seen it all. Do people in Budapest know how to dance, yes or no? No. Is there a lot of this? No. Or is it like? Yeah. More like that. The ones that think they look so cool, but it looks so, so terrible? <laughs> is this a one night stand city? You go out and just have sex? I'm not saying you guys, but people in general. Yes. And as women, do you get hit on a lot here by guys? Yeah. Come home with me. How do they approach you? Like you did. Come home with me. Don't, they don't say that. Well, they don't say it. They just grab you and start dragging you places? Almost, yes. What? <laughs> Got a phone call today, didn't I, Lil? Yes, you did, Dex. Yeah, you gave me a little ring because I gave my digits last night, didn't you, Lil? That's right. What was that phone call about? Right here, right now. Yeah, going out tonight. This had to take a little to the, you know, most upscale, hardcore, VIP, power, super low-down official club in all of Budapest where nobody gets in. You know, Bed Beach. How did I get in, one might wonder, Lil? Yeah, know someone local. No big deal. I know Marcello. Hey, that's okay. Come on. Yeah, come on, says Marcello. I get in. Party time, all the time. Dex out. <laughs> Categorize the nightlife. Amazing. Now, where are you guys from? New York City. What the hell are you doing here? Oh my god, I love you girls. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Yeah. You're sisters, bro. Yeah. You're sisters. I love that interview. It was so great. Do you feel a sexual energy here? Oh, there's so much sexual tension around. This is crazy. Around or around? After a hardcore night out last night, nothing cures a hangover like going to a market. Worth the etchery market, Budapest is known for its markets. Here you can get anything, you know, the normal stuff. Guns, machetes, knives, anything. Maybe his brother is on sale here, who knows. There he is. <laughs> Great joke, move on. <laughs> I think the black one will suit you better. But it doesn't, the b black one doesn't match the hat. Yeah. No, but it's cool. The brown one still has more, it matches this. There's more fashion. Why, why is this better? Wandering around strange markets in Budapest is a good time. Yep, but now it's lunchtime, which means it's time to shoot some guns. Another day, another gun. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this is my thing. <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> this is for calling me at home while I'm watching Gossip Girl and offering me free long distance! I don't need it! I paid too much for that radio and you know it, you screwed me! You dumped me, Lucy, I was supposed to dump you first! I hate you, Rick! You just suck! Fuck everything! I'm out of bullets. You know, I find that low-fat yogurt, they say it tastes exactly the same with less calories. It doesn't taste the same. It's weird. Cool. 
this that's, the, that's the, the most powerful weapon most in the world. powerful handgun, the most revolver, powerful weapon in the world. Pistol. by Smith and Wesson in the world. It's a 50 cal. Yeah? 50 cal. <laughs> I mean, as long as you're not hurting people or killing people, guns are a lot of fun, but they have a limited amount of power. However, nothing's more powerful than a tank. Absolutely nothing. Time to ride some tanks. Yeah, because in Budapest you can do it all. You can do it all. <laughs> tank mode action. <laughs> yeah, switch on the tank. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing that hat? <laughs> you stupid fuck! What the hell? Stop acting like a hooker. <laughs> Yeah, of all the tank drivers you know, I'm surely the worst. Out of the seemingly endless supply of tank drivers you hang around with, I'm the worst. Genius comment. Again, Johan steals the hour. Johan is out getting some stock footage right now in a tank, and he looks like a, a little, a small child like, like who's being tortured. It is literally the funniest thing I've ever seen. I never knew No one to tell us no Where to go Or say we're only dreaming Because this was not a dream. This happened for real. We were here and it was the best. Best, yeah. out, best outro ever for sure. Magic, epic, had it all, <laughs> nailed it.